Man, there's some changes going on. Let me tell you about some. So at request of many of you about finding uh, services when you arrive, it, finding it in one source, in other words, would, would you tell me how I can find an apartment? Would you tell me the best place to live? Would you tell me how I can get somebody to clean the house? Would you tell me who can take me to this, that, and the other place? All those things exist out there, but if you're not here, you don't know who to trust, which is the best one. So I've been getting these uh, requests for ever since I began doing these videos. And I decided that I would go ahead and put together a web page and put down the people that I know and trust to do these various things. And so I was working on that and almost done with it. But then some other things came up. As you know, Adriana, who's a lawyer here in Cuenca and my very good friend, and also shares half of the house that I have, she has wanted forever to do a charity foundation, to set it up legally for children's rights, because certain things like that are not as advanced as in some other countries. And so it can be very difficult getting things like child support and uh, various rights with the government. It's been her passion. But here she is working in a law firm based out of Quito and she's setting up, set up the office here in Cuenca. A lot of business, a lot of corporate, a lot of uh, municipal uh, legal work, which is not her passion. It's kind of a grind for her. What she loves is immigration law and family law. They kind of go hand in hand. She likes that kind of work. With that law firm, it was not really that way. Also, larger law firms are not necessarily a fan of doing pro bono work. Now in the US, you're required to do a certain amount. Things are different in other countries. And while she has a big heart and would see a situation and want to go do battle. Um, she was restricted by the requirements of her partnership. So what she has decided to do is dissolve that partnership on her end. I don't know exactly how that works in Ecuador when you have a, a law partnership resign, uh, quit, it's more than that, but you get the idea. She has left that law firm. So she is no longer part of that law firm. She has now gone solo. She has gone solo so that she could do the type of law work that she went to law school for, immigration, family law. But she's doing it primarily to support this foundation that she is creating. She's actually filing the paperwork this week. Foundation San Martin. Her son's name is Martin. And so she's experienced firsthand some of these things and has had to do battle in court, but she's a lawyer and so it was easier for, to do, for her to do those things. But she sees around her women that not only have trouble finding a job, they have daycare issues, they're trying to support a child that the father just completely turns his back on, walks away, and has no obligation. Now, there are some laws in Ecuador about that, but it can be very difficult. And if you're not working and you're trying to take care of a child, maybe you just don't have the money for a lawyer to go do those things. Hence, her foundation. So, she will certainly suffer for at least a period of time a severe drop in income. But she's passionate about this. She's wanted to do this for a very long time. And we've discussed it. I'm going to help her every way I can. I'm not sure how that'll be, but I will do what I can. Uh, you have to love passion in people. 
But one thing that I thought about was this website that I set up and I had and still have no interest in that as any kind of a business. But I thought, soon I'm going to be doing some traveling and someone should be, you know, keeping track of that, updating it, kind of overseeing it, make sure everything's okay so that people can re continue to rely on it. I thought, why not hand that over to her to oversee that, be the director of it, and do it as an actual business, but do it so that those funds can support or help support that foundation. So that it's almost, it's a business, but almost a charity in that those funds will go over to that foundation, which will cover the cost of all of those legal services. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, it keeps that entity, even though it will be a commercial business, uh, we're working out the details now on how to make that realistic. It will be a commercial business, but it will be for the intent of that transfer of income. So that the, her private practice that she is doing, the clients that she had pre-existing and the clients that, you know, that are to come, she doesn't have to take all that money and dump it in. She can still live a life and support you know, her child and uh, operate that way because that was a concern but she was bound to determine that she was just going to go ahead with this she would put it off for a long time and she simply didn't want to do any more corporate law so I admire that I respect that and being such a good friend of course I'm going to help with that this was my idea uh, I hope it works out so I will continue for several months um, as we transition this to her because she's got a lot on her plate but it seemed like a natural fit uh, since she was part of that anyway uh, she does immigration visas um, all the things that people coming here need and she's very good at it um, so she'll be part of that she will still do that and uh, you know hopefully that will help her personally but this overall picture um, it just seemed to make sense to me. I, I hope it does make sense. You know, I hope it uh, does what we think now or what I think now, what it's intended for. So the end result, the way I'm picturing it, is that people that are coming here will have a single source that they can contact and decide all the things that they may need. Uh, Sandy has agreed to do the cultural guide thing. Uh, so that she's there to help people with the transition, take care of their cell phone, uh, various appointments, all of those kinds of things. So I have a list of people that are willing to be part of this for the greater good. They will get some work out of it and the foundation will get some funding from it and Adriana will be able to keep some funds for herself to make a living, it seems like this could all work together and could be a very positive thing. It's kind of a big thing. I've given my commitment for at least three months to do everything I can do to help get everything rolling. Um, I will be doing some foundation videos Unfortunately, I'm not as professional as it probably deserves, but I'm gonna do my best with it. So, any comments that you have, feel free to post them you know, down below in this comment section. I'd be interested in your opinion and this idea that got complete support of this central location for services is now kind of taking a bit of a turn. Uh, I'd like your opinion on that. Uh, hopefully I've explained this well enough so you can understand. Um, sometimes I start rambling and get off track a little bit. So I, you know, I, I hope you get what I'm trying to do. And if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. So tell me what you think. Thank you. You know you could.